Hello, welcome to this tutorial. I'm Morris Dimba, and today we are going to part four of this multi span truss design, and from which we will be generating drawings. And uh, let's just get started right away from this. Now, without going further, I'm going to start generating the drawing. So I'll go straight to drawings and report. I'll click on drawings and report, and then come to create drawings. I'll click on that drop down arrow. Then uh, I'm going to use templates from my, my, uh, I mean master drawing catalog from here. I'll click on uh, master drawing catalog and give it some time to, to load. There it is. If I mouse over at the bottom end here, I'll be able to see here. Just give it time. It is here. I can click on that. Once I've clicked on that, and uh, still I'll give it uh, some time to load all the templates. Then from there I'll be able to pick on the appropriate one. I'll pick on the on on the second one. Let me just scroll Let me, and uh, enlarge this. Let me just enlarge that. I want to pick on this. A still general arrangement elevation. I want to work with this. I'll click on this, and uh, I'll zoom out to check on the grid line I want to generate my drawings from. I want to generate drawings from uh, from grid line K, grid line K. Let me just bring it close. This grid line K. So I'll be facing my camera will be on this end facing that way. So I'll have an elevation view from this end. Once I've selected this template, just go straight and click create drawings here. Perfect. Now I'll minimize this, then uh, pick the grid line. I'll scroll down inside this general regiment uh, drawing views and scroll up to I'll scroll up to grid line K. Let me just grab this and br bring bring it down. I'll pick on grid line K and I'll select on it. Then go ahead and click create. There we are. We've uh, selected the grid line K. So if you scroll down, and now we, we want to uh, follow up, we want to go to dra uh, drawing list to see how our drawing has been generated. I'll go to drawing list here and click on drawing list. Inside this drawing list, we'll find our drawing already listed. It is among the list of the drawings generated from the model. Now we want to open this. To open this, just double click on this and it will open up we'll just give it some time to yes the drawing is here with us and what i'll do i'll just go ahead and minimize this once i've minimized this let me just drag this side because we are still using this we'll come back to it because we want to generate other drawings using the templates so if we close this we'll close the master drawing catalog and you don't want to go back and forth we want just to, it to stay around so that we can access whatever we want promptly now we want to comb this drawing slightly we can't allow everything to be done by the program of at least you do something you touch you make some retouch on your drawings because uh, you don't allow yourself to be defined as a, as a computer operator now i'll now double click on this Double click on that. I want to change the grid lines and the and how these grid lines stands out. I want to change the color of these to black and uh, also the color of that to to black also. And try to click modify to see if something changes to what you've just selected. Now it has changed, but the way the dimensions, the the levels have have been uh, placed. Is not is not really necessary because we have these dimensions at this end here. So we have these dimensions, giving detailing the heights or indicating the the heights. So we don't really need these ones at, at this end. So what we'll do, we'll just get rid of them by unchecking this box and click modify to see what's happening. There they are gone. And uh, we want also these. Uh, Label, label. Uh, I mean, le labeling to be also indicated up here. We can do that by checking this top one and clicking modify. 
you can see that indicating right there they're up there and they're slightly out of our our title block framework and i'll just drag that down just drag it down slightly right there that's okay perfect if we br if we bring it close this oval shape we can also change it we can come to you can come under under standards and pick on the frame here on this dr uh, drop down arrow and pick on this circular one and uh once you've clicked on that just click double click uh just click play uh, apply it has it hasn't changed because we didn't select on the grid now when i come here and pick on the circular uh, style I'll, and click modify it will change automatically to circular one and the text or font size and uh and the font type i don't really i don't really like it i want to use a different one i'll use a roman d so to change just click on this button here just opposite the aerial uh, just opposite the font this will take you to uh, a dialog box where you will be able to pick on uh, the appropriate font style for yourself this is the dialog box i'm talking about and from here just type your preferred name of your font style my preferred is roman d here and i'll go ahead and click roman d and uh there are, there are also font style if you want regular oblique but bold and uh, bold oblique oblique I, I, I would go for bold here and click ok then come here and accept that accept the modification it's bold do you really need bold here no we'll go back and change that bold just to regular we'll take it back to regular and come here and, cl and click ok then accept the modification by clicking the modify button then come here and apply the changes and give an ok to what you've just changed if you if you zoom out you can see uh the highlighting of our labeling the, the circles are slightly different in size because on this side we have single digits and on this side we have uh, two digits now the circle to cover the whole needs need to change they can't be the same font they can't be the same size of a circle to cover all this we can still go back back to it and double click on that then uh, come here and change the font height we can come and give that four and click modify once we've clicked modify we and click and apply and give it an acceptance by clicking ok then just zoom out and click on empty screen right here and that's all and also maybe on the dimensions you also, you also like to change the font style you just press control uh, click and press control and select uh, the dimensions select on, on the dimensions the last one double click to bring the, uh, the dialog box where you will be able to change uh, the font uh styles i'll come to appearance but uh tab then speak on that and pick on the black on, on the white and uh, i want to change the font style i'll click on that button then just type roman d and click on that then you come all the way and i click ok then uh, I'll, I'll i will accept the modification by clicking the modify button and apply the changes by clicking the apply button and give an ok to give an acceptance to all the changes you've just made now this is where we are and this is what we have now and you can print out this to whoever is concerned or, or whoever really uh, whoever needs the drawing to work on let me just click on this then drag uh, uh, drag it by pressing left button on the mouse and bring it to a position that will be will make it sit appropriate and uh, slightly at the center of our title block now there's this text here grid uh, grid k it, it, it doesn't look nice and uh, what we'll do just double click on it 
we want to slightly add some text and change the font style and the font size once you've double clicked on that just i want to drag this to allow the to allow us see whatever we are doing up front now i'll come to attributes too then come to labels from labels is where we'll be able to change or add text on this i'll come to the first button labeled a1 and click on that button then uh, inside this dialog box of mac contents i'll click on this view name uh, once i've clicked on it I'll click on it once again and click remove i want to re i want to remove that and bring in my customized text i'll add that text at the moment you add that you'll be prompted with uh, this small dialog box named mac content text inside here type your your, your, your description of this elevation i'll describe this as elevation 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 view elevation from grid line k from grid line k from grid line k from grid line k that's all i'll click ok then the moment you click OK, you'll see the text already inside here. And uh, you can change the color to white by, by selecting black because when printed, uh, when, pre when, when printed, when, when printed, it will, it will be white. But here, since we have a, a, a black background, the choice is white. We can pick, if you pick white, it won't be, uh, it won't come out clearly and it won't be visible. Now I'll come to color here on the underline i'll pick also black and i'll change the font style and and the font size roman d and click on that and click ok i'll come here and click modify and accept the changes by clicking apply button here right here and we can have that description of for our elevation and what we can do now just can go ahead and I click OK, OK here and come here and click save. About the title block, I, you can check one of the videos I, I elaborated how to bring in our title block into the drawing. It's quite simple and uh, I'll brief you on how to do that later on once I've done these drawings generation or once I've done with the drawing generation. Now I'll come back. I'll go back to the model and uh, try and generate other drawings. I'll now I'll generate the plan view for this and uh, uh, the roof plan. Thanks a lot for watching this channel. If you're new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe and let's meet on the next presentation. I'm Morris Dimba and don't forget to subscribe. And